Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where you can level up your Weeb level by learning some trivia on the Japanese culture and language, and some nuances that were lost in the translation of an anime. In this case, for the 12th and last episode of Onimai. When Asahi put her face in the snow at the beginning of the episode, she used the term Gyotaku. The original meaning of it is to talk about making a fish imprint. You will soak a fish in some ink and press it against paper to make an imprint. It was mainly used to make a record about a fish that you would have got, with some info like the date, the size and the weight. The ryokan that the gang went to during their trip is probably based on an actual one in Kyoto. The name on the front of the building is written in reverse, but later in the episode, we can see it written normally on something that Miu holds up. The name Tsukimi is written with the kanji for moon and looking, which is also the name of a festival in autumn. It's a little bit similar to the Hanami festival in spring, but with the moon. It's shown very briefly, but we can quickly see a nameplate in front of the entrance of the room the gang are staying in. It's pretty common to have certain names for rooms in more traditional buildings to express a certain feel or thematic. It was translated into ladies room from Yulinoma. A more literal translation will be Lily's room, the flower, and it also has the double meaning of the Yuli genre of girls' love stories. In the onsen scene, there was actually a little play on one. After Mihali and the others talk about detoxing their bodies, Mahiro used the expression menodoku. It's something used to talk about something tempting, something that shouldn't be seen, but the literal sense is a poison to the eyes which links to the detox. The t-shirt that Momiji have in this episode has Odekake written on it. It's the Japanese word for a nothing, a trip outside. For those that have watched Spy Family, it's one of the words that Anya tries to say a bunch of times. Odekake, no? Towards the end of the episode, the next train stop is announced to be Onimai, which obviously reflects the abbreviation of the title of the show, but it's also written with the kanji for mating, to, and younger sister. The last one also being part of the word Shimai, sisters, that could be seen as a double meaning in the full title, Oni Chanwa Oshimai. And that's all I had for this last episode of Onimai. I hope that you learned something new with my videos, and if you like to show your support, you know the usual things to do. I might look into covering one of the new series of this spring season. For now I have my eyes on Oshinoko and Chikokuraku. And if it's something that could interest you, make sure to let me know in the comments. And maybe subscribe to have a little more chance seeing when my next video will come up. Anyway, it's the end of this series, and I hope to see you in the next one.